Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button? It definitely helps other members know when I'm posting videos. And before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor. I do not make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey. So please do your homework first. Well, welcome to week uh, 165 uh, update. And uh, for all your new members that recently joined me over the last couple of weeks, thank you so much for coming into my weight loss uh, journey. And for all your returning members, thank you for supporting me and uh, being right along with my journey. So today is that's the week of 166 and uh, end of week 165. And I uh, just wanted to update you on what we did for activity and for our weight loss. We actually lost nine pounds this week, and I don't believe how that happened. I weighed myself this morning, and I was 216 pounds. So I was really happy when I uh, weighed myself in this morning. And uh, I've been really, really careful what I've been eating. I've been making a lot of keto meals, and I've been doing some uh, BBBE and carnivore, basically, you know, that sort of thing in between this whole past week. Now, yesterday it was, uh, today's Monday, and yesterday was Sunday, so we ended up having the, the uh, bingo banquet downstairs at the uh, church parish there where we uh, volunteer on the bingo on Friday nights and they had uh, a roast pork with a lot of carbs there but I, I I had kind of like a blow off day but I kept it really simple and didn't eat that much and didn't overindulge and then uh, they passed out a five dollar scratch ticket to everybody and uh, we didn't win nothing on that and uh, you know she was asking for volunteers for the church fair that's coming up in November for uh, two days and uh, so I'm going to volunteer for at least one of those days. I did say I'd volunteer for two of them, but I'm going to take Friday night off that Friday night and enjoy it with my wife. And uh, But yeah, I think that'll be good enough for that. And uh, so what else did we do this past week? Well, we did a lot of walking Sunday yesterday. I did uh, four miles of walking in the morning. Right now I'm up to uh, 30 miles for the month so far. My goal is to get to 50 miles for the, before the end of the month. I pretty much know I'm going to achieve that goal. Uh, Saturday we had the tractor parade, the fifth annual tractor parade. I went up there early in the morning around 9.30, quarter of 10, and I went down there and they filmed that. The parade only lasted about 10 or 15 minutes, and then afterwards they, uh, around the lower common area, they set up all the tractors and the kids can climb up on the tractor. I ended up getting up on one of the tractors there. My friend Wayne took some photographs of me and I did a, a comparison with the mayor from 2019. And, uh, yeah, that was a good day yesterday and Saturday. We had a good day. The Patriots had another lousy week. Then it's not even talk about them. I didn't, What else did I do this week? I can't even remember what I did. It's in an awful way. I usually have a pile of notes on, on me that I write down. But I, I made a whole lot of uh, recipes this past week. And, uh, I, you know, I'm really happy how those are coming out. And I got another premiere coming up uh, Tuesday. So what I did with that particular premiere I ended up uh, making some uh, lasagna out of some leftover sloppy joe and they, and what I did was the uh, sloppy joe mix I got that from uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Jennifer Vance from uh, Little Cobb Recipes with Jennifer and then I made it exactly how she made hers on her sloppy joe and I used egg like wraps for my uh, and, that, and that, of course that's always a mess sloppy joe so it's recommended that you she recommended that you use the 90 second keto bread, but I ended up with the uh, kind of like the, the burrito and I and when it was flopping all over, I got it to a point where I could actually eat it and hold it to my hands. But uh, but I still ended up eating it and then I had some leftover and I, of course I don't like to throw out anything. So I said, what am I gonna do with the leftover? So I said, well, why not just make a uh, lasagna? So I ended up buying some uh, regular, uh, the plain egg life, life wraps and I made a nice design, you replace the noodles with that, and they came out really good, and then I had leftover of that, and I put them in little plastic bowls, and I got a nice little uh, five-piece plastic bowl set at uh, Walmart, and I ended up using those for a couple of extra meals. So this is how I've been able to uh, stay ahead of the uh, keto lifestyle. Now, one of the uh, questions that was asked in the uh, one of the other uh, live uh, videos that I go into uh, from time to time, she said to, uh, Jenny that uh, you know she wants to do keto but she's afraid she can't afford it you know, you're gonna you can do keto you just it's no more expensive than all the other stuff that you buy you just you know you just might buy your pantry and go and you start all over again like I did and then you just get a little bit at a time and, and if I you know I can't afford it again and all that stuff but I I get what I can afford remember at the end of the day you do you 
and uh, you know you'll be successful trust me on that because you know I've been very very su uh, successful currently I lost 150 pounds and I feel really fantastic or oh, what else did I do oh, yeah I forgot to even mention this part about it the nice thing about losing weight guys is you got to get smaller clothes so I'm in a size medium so I went in my closet yesterday uh, which was on Sunday took a photograph of the before and then the afterwards I got rid of all my large shirts and I just threw them right into that, my bag with donation and then I, I replaced them with uh, mediums so I feel really fantastic and I got uh, I sent out for uh, well, I just over the last two weeks I got four brand new pairs of pants I had them hemmed up and I, so now I got five brand new pair of pants and I got six brand new shirts that are one of them I'm wearing now I was I used to get these at the Coles website guys but I don't bother with the Coles website too much anymore because they're very expensive I was paying 60 bucks a piece and one of my local stores right in the downtown area was selling these for 20 and I got some on sale for 12 so I just uh, yeah, I ended up buying like six of them one day and I ended up saving myself over $180 if I would have bought them at Coles so, so definitely you know you know uh, depending on where you live in your city uh, check in your downtown area for some of the local stores because sometimes you can get some really good bargains over there especially if they're doing like a clearance sale like they were doing on some of these shirts and ones that they weren't doing the clearance sales on them I got it for 20 25 bucks a piece that's still a heck of a lot cheaper than spending $60 for a shirt so that's what I was telling you guys about the uh, keto and the uh, whether or not it's affordable it is affordable you just gotta know how to shop and uh, I'm gonna start doing some grocery hauls to help you guys out you know if you're doing low-carb keto like I am or if you want to start low-carb keto but there's enough people that do low carb uh, grocery hauls, you know. And uh, so we're going to stay with the keto. And we're going to do some BBBE, some carnivore meals in between, you know, and maybe some uh, beef and butter fast a couple of times. And we, we did do an egg fast for a couple of days. I lasted a couple of days. I, I mean, I'm all right with it, but the problem is just plain eggs don't fill me up. So, you know, that's why they, they recommend you doing butter with cheese with that. And, uh, I mean, but I mean, my friend Steffi is uh, from the Incredible Shrink and Steffi. She's doing a uh, carnivore thing this past week, for this coming week, and I'm gonna do that with her for a few days. And I'll post up some of my carnivore meals. But I'm still gonna make some uh, keto meals in, in between, so I can have them for the uh, post up. On. So one of my, uh, since we're in the holiday season, pretty close to uh, Thanksgiving now, and towards the end of uh, October for the uh, Halloween, I want to make some pumpkin uh, recipes. I did make a pumpkin bread one. I want to do another one with some pumpkin muffins using the uh, same bread formula. And I want to make some uh, a pumpkin roll. I think that'd be pretty cool. And I've been watching some other YouTubers to see what they've been doing with some of that pumpkin puree and to see uh, what I can make for that for some uh, recipes. And uh, yeah, so that's all we got going on, guys, for this month. Uh, oh, yeah, the bingo front, Donna 150 Friday night. She had a good crowd. Everything came out fine on the charity. And I've been just happy-go-lucky. I've been doing some uh, lives. And some, I was going to do a live cooking show this morning for breakfast. But um, I, I, we got two appointments today for Donna, so I, I don't have time today. So I was thinking maybe tomorrow, we'll probably uh, Tuesday, we'll probably do a live cooking show in the morning and show you how. Maybe I'll make breakfast for you guys or maybe do a late afternoon uh, dinner around 5 or 6 o'clock. there, show you how to make a pizza. Yeah, we'll do it two methods. I'll do one in the air fryer and one in the oven. And what I'll do is I'll have one already made in the oven, and then I'll do one in the air fryer because the air fryer is the less time in the air fryer. And then we'll we'll, we'll uh, talk about it after it's all done. And you know, I love doing the lives. You know, I, I I've been realizing right along now. Had I done some lives like this, my watch hours would have been up there. But I had ten, I had a thousand ninety subscribers as of this morning. But I still need another 1,500 not more watch hours before my channel gets monetized. And I never thought that would even happen, you know. So, But anyways, that's all we got going on this week, guys. I just, um, you know, really enjoy you doing some videos and photography for you guys from the city that I live in. I've been doing some road dash videos, too. I bought a nice road dash and cam, dash cam, and I like doing those. The new car is running like a top. I love the new car. I just kind of wish I didn't have the big payment on it. And yeah, I told you guys uh, a couple of weeks ago, about a week and a half ago, that I won two $500 hits on a $50 scratch. My friend Jimmy was telling me yesterday at the bowling bank, at the uh, bowling bank, at the bingo banquet, that uh, 
uh, Buddy Ayers plays those all the time, and he won twice now. He won 500 times, and they're both $50 at the bottom, so twice he hit 500000 I can't afford to play them like he does. If I can buy one a month, I'm lucky, So and, and I'll cry like a baby when I lose 50. And, uh, yeah, so this week coming up, speaking of crying, I'm going to probably be crying on the way home, but I'm going down to the Foxwoods uh, Casino this coming Saturday. It's the um, Oktoberfest. All the game payouts are uh, 15 grand. And the winner take all is two hundred fifty thousand. I got just as good a chance as everybody else. Nobody's going to be playing any more than what I'm playing, which is two packages and, and your specials. It's cost me seven hundred dollars to play bingo. Plus, what I'm going to lose over there at the slot machines, and that's how I'm I'm looking at it that way. If I come back with money, I'm that much ahead of the game. But if I don't, I'm not going to cry about it because I got all that money from the vehicle and I used some money out of that and they didn't come out of any bill money. So anything that I take home at, at this point is just free cash for Donna and I. All I have is just the uh, car payment for a bill now. I don't owe anybody else any other money now. So I'm re we're really in good shape. We're in a lot better shape than a lot of people. You know, we make enough money to get by. We have a little bit of extra every month. And uh, you know, my, my freezer right now is currently, I got enough food in the freezer that'll last me at least three months, maybe four if I stretch it. And uh, you know, just keep telling people just uh, stay vigilant. Uh, you know, try not to get involved with too many large crowds right now. I don't think that'd be a good idea to do that. You know, if there's not uh, adequate security, and uh, just take one day at a time and pray for what's going on over there in the Middle East because uh, you know, that that could happen over here. And if it does, God help us all. But anyways, that's all I got to say about all that stuff there. Um, hey, if you're looking for inspiration, don't forget to go over to, to my friend Anne Marie with the XOXO. I'll put a link below to show more. Uh, she's got a great YouTube channel. She uh, she doesn't really do keto, but she makes a lot of great meals and we can convert over to keto. And uh, we're going to get together her and I. We're going to do a live cooking show with uh, Miss T there for the, uh, well, I'll pick something that's all similar and I'll make my version of it for low carb. But she has game nights usually on Sunday and Wednesdays. And if you're a subscribed member and you're going to go in and check her channel out, then uh, she'll gladly uh, have you on there. But if you if you decide to go to, to her channel, uh, just, you know, let her know that you came over here from Ron's Keto Cafe, you know. And, uh, you know, you, you really enjoy your channel. She does that live cooking show mostly every day, which she can. And she teaches us how to shop at these uh, stores like... Uh, the Dollar Tree and, and Walgreens and stuff like that where you can save money and she's always trying to help people so she's really a great uh, YouTube creator so please go out and support her channel even if you know you know uh, you're doing keto and she's not if she's not just support her anyways because it does help her and help her keep her channel going and helps keeps my channel going and uh, so if you got any suggestions of anything you want me to make because we're coming close to the holidays you let me know and I'll, I'll put it together for you guys. I mean, I am going shopping today because I need to pick up some things for some recipes that I want to make. Oh, one of the recipes that I got from Paula from uh, Low Carb Revelation, Paula and, and her husband Ed, um, they took some ground beef and they took an onion, they, they cut up the onion, and then they made a hamburger patty and then they, they totally wrapped the onion ring with the ground beef and then they wrapped that up with bacon and they popped that onto the uh, smoker. Well, I'm going to use my air fryer for that, and I'm going to kind of duplicate that recipe and uh, see if I can be uh, successful with that particular recipe. And, uh, you know, it should be fun. And, I, you know, I enjoy cooking, and I love hamburger, and I love ground beef, and I love onions, you know. you know. And also, I plan on making probably this week, too, is I'm going to be making a Salisbury steak. I have a pound of uh, ground pork and a pound of ground beef. I'll mix the two together. And, um, We'll uh, make it exactly. Now that recipe I, I found on that I want to do the Salisbury steak, uh, CJ's Kitchen. Uh, she's another great YouTube lady and her husband, uh, CJ. They live out in the uh, Seattle area and they, uh, they're they all keto all the time. And, uh, you know, go in and support some of these channels. All those links are in my show more. And I uh, would support one another. And, uh, and again, I'm going to let you guys go. Remember, you guys have an amazing day. Love you guys. Uh, we got the Halloween play parade coming up this coming Saturday. I'm going to be in Foxwoods, but we there's, there's a rumor going around. It's going to be pouring and raining out, which I'm actually praying for rain this time so the mayor will cancel it and move it off to Sunday. It's supposed to be a nice day Sunday, next Sunday. So we'll see what happens there because I like to be able to film that, you know. And uh, oh, yeah, Saturday too, when I talked to my friend Wayne, yeah, he, he took some photographs of me. 
he told me that um, he'd be, I asked him if he can help me for the Veterans Day ceremony over there in the lower common area. What they'll do is the veterans will go up and they'll, they'll uh, you know, they'll uh, say a few things and then they'll move it into the city hall and they'll, they'll honor the veterans. And it's really a touching ceremony. I like to cover that for the city and then I'll give it to the studio. I'm going to have to schedule out a camera for the studio and I'll use my other camera as well. But I guess that's all I got to say. But anyways, thank you for coming along my journey. Again, don't forget to thumbs up my video and share my video. And uh, again, we're on week 165. And uh, we had a good week. Uh, lost uh, nine pounds. I feel really great. And I'm going to continue to lose weight. And uh, thank you for supporting my channel. And uh, have an amazing week. Love you guys. Remember, I love you. God love you. Have an amazing day. And thank you for watching my channel.